So it's the year of our Lord, 1986, and I had just graduated from Union Seminary in Virginia. I got a call to the Westminster Church in Charleston, South Carolina. I was going to work with Bob Dunham. He was pastor of that church, and he was masterful. Bob uh, took me on when I was green. I was green as a spring lawn. I didn't know what I didn't know, and he was my mentor. For a while, I thought he was mentoring me in the skills of ministry, how to run a good meeting, how to preach if you can, how to teach a class, how to make a hospital visit. But what I realized, and it took a while, what I realized is he was teaching me how to be a Christian. I'd had other teachers to do the same, but he was teaching me how to let my faith live in every day of my life and he was masterful. Paul writes Timothy and says, I know that the faith that lives in you first lived in your mother and in your grandmother. What, what it seems to me, if I understand this text, that Timothy's actually in a time of faith crisis. I, I, I don't know what it is, but he had questions or he had concerns or maybe he had some suffering in his, in his life. We all have those dark nights Timothy was in a crisis of faith. And Paul says, remember your mentors. Remember those who have taught you, who have showed you, who have loved you into the faith, who have demonstrated you what your ministry is for. I bet you have those people. Who are they for you? Who are those who have taught you what it is to be a Christian? Pay attention to them. Maybe make a list. Take some time today to offer a prayer of thanksgiving for those people. Maybe do what I'm going to do today. I'm going to call Bob, and I'm going to tell him how grateful I am for the difference he's made in my life as a mentor, not to teach me the skills of ministry, but to teach me how to live the faith, because that's a ministry that I have, and so do you.